Good morning, Orchard STEM School. This is Mr. Hoydick, the art teacher. Today we are going to color in our picture that was inspired by famous Cleveland artist Huey Lee Smith. And the name of the artwork is Rooftop. It's at the Cleveland Museum of Art. Very fun to go and look at it. Here is my example of it that I printed up so that I could reference it and I could show you what's happening. When I start to color it in, I'm going to do the big sections first. The biggest section would be the sky. And the sky is like a bluish gray. So I'm going to use black and blue, mainly blue, to color in the sky. The clouds also take up a big portion. And what do we have with them? We have white and gray. So I'm gonna use black and white for them. Down here, the building is brick. And so that's gonna be a combination of brown and red. And also, two of the buildings in the background are also that same sort of brick color. Again, I'm gonna use brown and red. And there's some white buildings back there too. And for that, I'm going to use mainly white, but also a little bit of black to make the, to make the gray on this one. So without further ado, I'm going to start with this light blue and I'm holding it on the edge. And what I'm gonna do is start on this edge. Now I have my clip under here, so sometimes this gives me a hard time. Today it seems like it's okay. And what I'm going to do while holding my pencil on the edge and holding the edge of my paper is shade in the sky. And I really want all my pencil lines to go the same direction. And if I do that nicely, if I do it right, I won't be able to see the lines. I'm gonna go around my figure, solitary rooftop figure. I'm gonna go around my buildings and I'm not even tracing around them. A lot of times before I color around an item, I'll trace it, but I'm not doing that today. And now I'll start to fill in. And I actually want to erase these outlines of clouds. I don't want it to be such a harsh edge. I'm going to form the clouds by the color, the black and white. So that's better. So I had the lines to kind of placehold where my clouds would be. And I can still see where I drew my lines. But I want it to be very faint. So that when I color in the clouds, that's what makes the shape. The coloring, not the drawing. And now I can color a little bit faster, but not too fast. You want to control the color as it gets applied to your paper. And there's the edge of the cloud. Oh. I press a little too hard, I can see a pencil line. There's another one. I'm going to leave the pencil lines for now, but if they bother me later, I will take them out with an eraser. Now 
Now I have all the sky colored in. Now what I want to do is color in a circular motion. What that's going to do is help me make some darker spots. Darker spots of blue, darker areas. Alright, you know what, I might as well add some black. Let's look at it again. You know what, I'm actually going to add some brown, because this seems sort of brownish. And I'm going to grab my purple. So, using the edge, blend in a little bit of brown. Here and there. Got my purple. Oh, that's adding a nice texture. Press a little harder, see what you get. Neat. That's what I'm talking about. All right, for the clouds. faint shading and I'm going to shade the top of the cloud the top right of the cloud shading the top right of the cloud and I can add some details make it circular shapes on my cloud and what I'm going to do is shade the left side of the cloud with a little bit more blue. I'm going to shade the left side of the cloud with a little bit more blue. And the clouds are good for now. Might add some more later, might leave it alone. Now the brown for the brick. This top part is not brown, if you remember. It's kind of whitish over here on the left. And it's kind of whitish gray on the, on the right side. So I'm going to leave that alone. And I'm going to start lightly shading all this brick area. And you can shade over everything. Leave the gray areas alone. You remember Huey Lee Smith wanted to show his solitary figures in kind of run down parts of town. That's the feeling he wanted to convey. And so I'm gonna leave these areas of bricks that got patched. Now, while I'm at it, Go. Sorry about that. I'm also going to add brown to some of the buildings in the background. You can see which ones. This one, and this one, and this one, and this one. All right, now it's time for the red. And I think I first want to do the bricks on the building that our figure is standing on. And you know what? If I, let me come in this way. If I shade 
side to side, sort of on a diagonal. I think this will help the bricks look more realistic. Yep, sure does. And over here. And all this area too. And you can see my pencil lines are starting to disappear because I'm coloring over them. That's all right. And let's do the background buildings. starting to turn out. A little bit more red on the building itself. So, I'm going to add some details on the building and that's going to shade in over the red like so. Now I have a shadow on the face of this building. Oh, I see there are windows. And so I'll add some windows on the building. I don't have to add them in the same place. I can put them in different places. And now, I'm going to shade this area here, the triangle. And I'm going to make this corner a little darker. Uh, so there's a shadow. And then the whole front of the building will have a shadow. And I've really lost the brick textures, so I can re-add that. Actually, want to add shadow. Like I'm going to make this patched part is going to be gray now. All of it. And also, this uh, ledge or uh, edge of the roof. And I want to establish this line a little bit more. And this one. And just add a little bit of gray. That line. That line. Sure. Here, I want to clean up the shading. Good. Now, time for some brick texture. And so we can make some parallel lines. They don't have to be perfectly even. I 
they should be parallel. And now we can start making the edge of the bricks. You don't have to color or draw every brick. Let's get the edge of this. Now I'm adding short lines. Now help me discern which are the bricks, where they are, what's going on. And I stood back from it to see what it looked like and I'm gonna need some more lines here. That's good for now. Uh, these over here. So let's make some parallel lines. And they're sort of diagonal because of the angle of the walls, how we see them. And over here as well. On the left. Okay, some of these lines need a little bit more detail. A little bit more detail for my bricks in here. All right. Oh, you know what I'd like to do now? Make these windows darker. These must be huge windows due to the size of them. And the top was a little lighter. And this side's in shadow. And let's just add a little bit here. On the water tower, you can shade the sides darker, the middle lighter, this building part here. Shade one side a little darker. Shade one side a little darker down here. All right, now finally, let's add some details to our figure. So what I'm going to do is add some brown for the arm, some brown for the face, but on the hair. So black for the hair. Sleeve top. I'm going to shade the front of his body a little bit extra. And I'm going to shade the pants. I'm going to stand back from it and see what I see. Let's add some more brick details over here. If you make little letter T's and upside down T's, that helps it look like bricks. That could be your last step. Turn these into T's. All right, I think that's good for today. Please draw your own, well, color in your own. Try your best, and I can't wait to see your artwork. Thanks, have a great day.